Hi guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now in the last tutorial, we saw this program wherein we explained how the logical and relational operators work. In today, today's tu uh, tutorial, we will be looking at uh, you know the do loop which is available in Fortran for doing uh, multiple recursive operations and uh, we will also look at uh, the there is an attribute to the, uh, to, the value, to the data types called as kind. We look at how these uh, values, how these can be used accordingly. And before that, I forgot to mention one topic in the last time. Okay, uh, see, even these logical operators have an op uh, uh, have a uh, operator precedence. Now, what kind of operator precedence these follow is as follows. Okay, remember last time in one of the previous tutorials, I mentioned that these they have, there's a PEMDAS rule of uh, logical operations. Yes, it uh, PEMDAS rules for uh, operator precedence. Yes, and before that, there is this one more operator called as U. This stands for unary minus or unary plus. For instance, suppose if you write uh, uh, what the unary is, suppose uh, you know in a simple terms, okay. Suppose you write minus phi and all. This minus because gets more preference. Sometimes if you get plus phi or something, this does not mean addition. Rather, rather it means the sign of the object sign of the value and all these uh, these are the unary operations okay uh, if in c you might uh, in c or c plus uh, plus okay this value like uh, this post increment operator or pre, uh, post decrement increment operator and decrement operator they also fall in the unary but these are not available in fortran uh, now so these are like not applicable in fortran okay so so they come uh, they come to the highest priority and then comes the pemdas like uh, parenthesis exponent multiplication division addition and subtraction and after that comes your relational op relational uh, uh, you know relational operators relational operators and then comes your logical operators so if you have a, if you have a very complicated complicated statement expression wherein you have pem you have uh, these normal operations followed by relate, relational operators and logical operators this is the order in which they'll happen so you guys, so it's bet it's better you guys have a clear idea of how the operation goes by and all okay that being said we'll uh, we'll finish this we, this tutorial is over let's start a new tutorial to look at the do loops i open a new file and save it now i save my stuff here in fortran files okay let me create a file a folder called as you know uh, did i make any uh, i'll make it geometric i'll make a job i'll create a new folder called as geometric because we are going to use the geometric progressions uh, so geometric progressions okay uh, we are going to use geometric progressions to explain our concept so this is I name this program as geometric underscore prog dot f95. Okay, so I'll write a comment here. Program to demonstrate uh, do loops. Do loops via via geometric progression. Okay. Now, now for this, let's write a program GOP I write it G GO underscore P so okay GO underscore prog meaning geometric progression and then I end the program here okay GO underscore prog okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to restrict all of them to integers so I just I'm not going to use only integers so before that the implicit non statement so I'm going to use only integers. So what I need is that an initial value a, and then a initial value a, and then a value r. You know the multiply the multiply statement and an iterative value for for the iteration purposes. I need a value i. I'll explain you guys what iteration means. Now uh, for this to uh, let's get the value of a and b from the user. Okay. Uh, enter the value of a and value of 
uh, initial term a initial term a and uh, you know factor r and factor r okay Th that will be easy to follow and in read value i'll be getting uh, the star command a and uh, r simple simple enough now it, now this is how a do statement works what a do statement in fortran does is that okay it does certain operations till the till the iteration variable reaches a part starts from a particular limit to an ending limit okay now let uh, yeah i need okay i just need one more variable i forgot uh, n okay print print enter the number of terms okay i use a read statement uh, to get the value n okay now i'll explain what do what do statement means what do statement does is that okay it starts with the do it starts with the syntax do and ends here and whatever it's written uh, inside between these two these do statements okay it will execute them okay the e that execute them the number of times the iteration variable has to change okay i let me explain here when i give an i when i give a condition like i equals 1 to n what happens is that i will vary one one step at a time okay with uh, uh, one step at a time so so what will happen is that uh, i will have values i equals 1 2 3 okay i move the cursor 4 5 and so on and uh, okay and so on up to it reaches the value n so it this so it will reach like that in that being the case okay what happens is uh, when i equals 1 all the statements between this do this do, do and this n do will be repeated once next next time when i gets incremented to, it becomes 2 the statement repeats again when i becomes 3 it repeats again and when i equals 4 this repeats again and when i equals 5 this repeats again so until uh, uh, so what happens is that this entire statement whatever all the statements that are given between do and n do n do come lines will get repeated in this example n times okay but uh, uh, n, n times and, e and when during each of these repetitions the value of i will remain constant for one that repetition but in the other repetition the value will change okay and this repetition of say, the same statements uh, i mean if you guys notice if you guys if you can follow uh, all the statements will, uh, will that will be written here will be written only once but they'll perform a different set of value different set of execution or they do different set of operations based on the value of i okay we have to program you have to give the codes in such a manner that for each value of i they do a slightly different job and all okay so that's how this goes that's how this goes okay now uh, you guys understand a little more clearly where, when we start doing the program okay now let me re re remove this off okay now uh, all i have is i don't have any print state i just uh, set this value to zero okay uh, print star comma star comma the the uh, Uh, okay the value okay i'll write the value one value i of the series is okay and then i'll write a into r power a, a into r power i let me just put this in parenthesis so that if you guys don't get confused and that's it and that's it now what will do it will just print up all the values of the geometric progression from the i equals 0 to 1 when i equals 0 it will print the zeroth value that will be the initial value so a will be it will it will print the value a in the next operation what it does is it will multiply a, a with r raised to 1 okay so what will print is ar 
so that will be the first term okay first term and then in the next term it will print a r square this since i becomes 2 in the third term a becomes r i becomes 3 so it will print at a r power 3 and so on since if we give n it will print n times so if uh, now there aren't any errors here so i compile this build this and execute this it will ask for the value a and i let me give a value say so start with say 1 okay and then let me give the factor 2 the conventional geometry progression okay and it's asking the number of terms i'll give 10 terms watch the value 0 of the series is 1 the value 1 value 1 of the series is 2 the value 2 of the series is 4 the value 3 of the series is 8 like that so what just happened is because of the I, because of the iterating variable iterating variable different output results are getting displayed and all okay this is like uh, this is very much useful if you want to do a similar operation but just with the slight variation in some answers and indices this becomes very this kind of looping statement becomes very useful in um, while doing uh, you know while doing array operations and all and we'll come to the array operations in the later okay now i just run this again just to give you guys a flavor okay now let's give a really big term like uh, five like 10 okay and then again i give another multiple 10 okay and i give like 12 terms look at the results it's just multiplying and go on and on increasing and after a particular point after a particular point it loses con it it becomes too much and this uh, this value should so it's not supposed to happen but we're getting some kind of answers here and similarly we're getting another entirely different answer here we're also getting a different answer here different answer here so do you think the program crashed or something well not exactly but the, what i felt is there is there is some problem with the numbers that is happening inside now what exactly is this happening the program is right the uh, program is really impeccably good but there is something going on inside inside and and all that's causing this answers to go little different what is that we'll uh, we'll we'll get to know this in the next tutorial guys okay now that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching see you guys the next time and in the next tutorial the answer for this lies because of the kind statement and that will explain you guys a little more clearly as to what's going on so thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye